Yep, that's a garbage truck backing up. Not necessarily. That is actually a gaming mouse that's made by Logitech, and Logitech has lost their minds. This thing is so strange to me, and it's it's weird. Uh, it is really bizarrely shaped. It feels different, and it doesn't feel like a gaming mouse, but it actually is. So let's get into it. This is the Logitech G703 Lightspeed. With new feet, take the old ones off. They're terrible. You're going to need a heat gun. Okay, big, fat, chunky buttons, rubber sides. It, I love it. Um, of course, Logitech's patent. Every fingerprint I put on it will stay there forever. Uh, it also has a nice wheel with that shade in it, but it reminds me of something. Some The shape, every time I put my hand on it, just reminds me of something. I just can't really place it. Now, the shape, of course, is bizarre, and as I've shown you, the feet need to be replaced. These are, I think, $9 ones that I got on Amazon. And... Rubber sides, again, those big, chunky side buttons, I love those. You're not going to miss those. They, they're they just fantastic. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about those in a second. But the wheel, it's perfect. It's it's perfect. Of course, you get the top button for your uh, different DPI, which I'll show you in the software. And then the top has got this really bizarre hump, as you can see right there. And it fits on the back of your hand, and it's just so strange. Now, of course, on the bottom, you can open it up and put a weight in it, I guess, if you want to. It comes with one. I, I threw it in the garbage. Okay, now the shape, again, is bubbly. It's kind of big on the back end. If you like mice that are sloped in the back, like the Glorious, D, or Glorious G-O, or possibly the Viper, by uh, Razor, yeah, this is this is not your mouse. This fits right in your palm, and I like that. It, it's not like you can rest your whole arm on it, um, but it feels kind of like, again, a productivity mouse in some way. And But those big, fat side buttons, I love them. I never miss those buttons. They're always, they're always intentional. With some mice, notably, uh, notably the razor, the, they're small. I have to like kind of push into the mouse to do them. With these, it's just, it's just perfect. It is strange. Go to a store, find one, put your hand on it, and, you know, let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. Now, let's take a look at the software. And there's my mice. Look. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, this is going to look familiar to you if you're familiar with the Logitech G Hub software. Uh, your DPIs, I, I, I've got 400, 800, 1300, 1600. I've, I typically don't use any of them but 1300, 1600 for me. It just feels right, and it seems to fit all the mice that I'm using within that range. It just, uh, it just feels good to me. I don't know. People use 800, and I tell them 1600, and they think I'm crazy. But I don't know. Speaking of crazy, this does have a DPI shift of 25,600, which is insane. I don't even – that's advertised. That's like, look how fat. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if a, if the settings on a computer can even go – I don't know. Anyway, if you're using that, just you know, put, the, put, put it in the comments below. Tell me how you're using it and why, and, uh, and we'll talk about it. Now, of course, the, uh, the polling rate is 1,000, like typical mice. You have assignments, just like all the other ones. You can basically change any button you want for keys, actions, macros, system. Uh, it's all in there. It's all typical stuff. Now, the light stuff is, I know, everybody hates it. I don't. I like the RGB. If it has it, it has it. If it doesn't, it's not a deal breaker for me. But I like to see my mouse. And usually when I play, it's dark. So I like to see it. But screen sampler is a weird one. If you click that and then move your cursor around, it actually emulates the light of the color that you have, whatever you're pointing. It's really weird. It works great. However, it's under your palm, and you'll never see it. So way to go. Now, the logo and the primary are separate, so you can have it for different colors, different features, um, scrolling, spectrum, breathing, all that kind of stuff. I typically just have the same color because it looks like Tron, and I like that. Now, the battery life is, is typical. This is at 51%. I have not charged this since I got it. I, I've had this for about two weeks uh, and using it almost nonstop, and I should probably plug it up and charge it make sure that it does charge. But, yeah, uh, it's it just seemed to keep going and going. Um, 
So that's pretty much it for for this guy. Now, do I recommend this mouse? No, I don't. You, you have to go feel this mouse. I would not tell somebody to use this mouse. You just have to go feel it and see what you think about it. Thanks for watching.